That's right, Dan. Aaron, this is the second piece of legislation this month aimed at tackling the high cost of education. But the different thing about this bill is that it's not need-based. It would apply to all full-time students who are California residents, regardless of income. And if approved, it would be paid for by millionaires. The cost of higher education is rising. This year, the University of California Regents approved a 2.5% tuition increase, and Cal State trustees are considering an increase as well. To help make college more accessible, an assembly bill has been introduced that would create a 1% tax on Californians earning more than a million dollars a year to pay for in-state tuition at public colleges. This is what the price tag looks like for local college degrees. At UC Santa Cruz, a student living on campus is expected to pay around $36,000 a year. At CSUMB, a student should budget for over $21,000 a year. At the community college level, tuition is much less, at about $1,400. But as the president of Monterey Peninsula College explains, their students are often juggling school with other commitments. Our students are making decisions about how many classes they can take, uh, how much they can possibly work while they take those classes. And they are, you know, they're very real world, challenging decisions. Sometimes the cost of a textbook is an insurmountable barrier for our, for our students. More than 60% of Cal State students and at least half of UC and community college students have tuition fully covered by existing financial aid programs. Dr. Tribley says it's middle income students that don't qualify for financial aid that get stuck with student debt. Middle income family might have several children and maybe they're all in school at the same time and the thought that that middle income family can pay for an education with, you know, is, is really not, uh, is not accurate. Now, free college statewide is yet to be seen, but a few California cities have already gotten a head start. In the fall, San Francisco will make community college free to all city residents. And this month, San Jose launched a scholarship program that would cover two years of community college for hundreds of low-income students. Aaron, Dan. All right, Bianca, all right. thank you. Thank you, Bianca. Now, the bill would require a two-thirds vote in the legislature to create the tax, and then it would go to voters for approval in 2018.